Okay, now let's go ahead and use uh, a few of the things we've covered in the videos previously and set up an actual model. We've got, you know, pretty typical four-channel uh, plane here. You know, throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder. And we're going to put, we've got a servo sitting on top of there as kind of a gear stand-in so we can program a switch. So here's what our channel assignments are going to be. T-A-E-R, pretty typical for a, a DSM. You, know, you pick out whatever matches your receiver. And before we turn the model on, we're going to do a couple of things. Okay, let's select the model. And we're going to make some initial assignments in the mixer. We do this now because we don't want to plug in, we don't want to hook up the model and turn it on when there's nothing in the mix because, you know, the throttle might be, you know, the, the failsafe might, you know, kick the, kick the motor on or something like that. So let's go ahead and set a really simple mix. Throttle. Aileron, elevator, rudder, and we're going to, well, we'll come back to channel five and uh, set that, uh, that one later for the, for the gear. So we've got uh, you know, a basic uh, mix here, so let's uh, turn the plane on and see how that's going to go. Now notice uh, I've taken off the prop. Always take off your prop when you're messing with the radio. If you do something silly like uh, reverse your, your throttle, you don't want you know, to deal with a plane trying to fly through your workshop, you know, possibly into your lap. But let's go ahead and hook up the plane and see what happens. Okay, that's good. Now let's check out a couple of our channels that we've made. Let's test out the throttle. Okay, that's good. Let's test out the aileron. There's left and right, and that looks good. We pull to the left, and the left aileron goes up. We pull to the right, and the right aileron goes up. Let's check out the elevator. We pull back. Oh, the elevator is backwards. That needs to be reversed. Pulling back should raise the control surface. Pushing forward should lower the control surface. So we'll take care of that in a minute. And let's try the rudder. There's left and right. So first, let's go and jump from the mixer screen. to the limits screen, screen six, and we've got uh, the elevator on channel three. So let's bump down to channel three and jump over to that last column. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna press menu and we see inverse. And let's do now, pull the stick back, surface goes up, push the stick forward, the surface goes down. So that looks okay now. So the last thing we need to set up is let's uh, set up the gear. And of course this doesn't have gear, but you see we've got the little servo with the flag on the stand-in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick the source to be full. And that's gonna give us either a minus 100 or 100, depending on the setting. And what we're gonna do is go down to the switch and we want to set the aileron switch so when it's up it'll be down i mean when it's up the servo will be 100 percent one way when it's down the servo will be 100 percent the other way so we see there 100 percent full aileron and we can see there the little flag is going up and down according to our switch be sure, you know, if it is something like landing gear, be sure you've got the right direction so you take off with your landing gear down, etc. Now the only other thing that you would have to do, you can see this is a pretty complete uh, setup here. If your uh, surfaces were moving too much, you might want to go in and put some 
high rates or low rates as according to the previous video. Now, this is actually pretty aggressive there. You, you, you're a pretty expert flyer if you can handle that kind of uh, motion, but, uh, but that's easy enough to do. So that's basically all you need to do to set up. You just have a mix as simple as this. Most of what you need for the stick motion is just 100% of your four sticks and then whatever switches you've got, then go and reverse things as necessary. Do that and you'll have uh, most of what you need for a standard four channel plane.